Bennett, who has uh, been teaching for 38 years in, in Lee County, and he is the longest teaching and presently teacher in agriculture education in the state of Kentucky. And he's done some very interesting work. By the way, and we honored him, KVAC honored him back in March at the Capitol in the Rotunda, uh, gave him the Galileo Award for his innovative teaching approaches. And then we have Gracie Spencer, who is uh, one of the students. So, uh, Orville, tell us about the project that you, you and your students are doing. Okay, we're doing raised beds this year. Uh, you know, a lot of, of people don't have gardens anymore, and so uh, we want to teach the students how to do raised beds because uh, it doesn't take a lot of space, and everybody's wanting uh, fresh garden produce, and, and so everybody could do a raised bed. Uh, we're, we're, we're gonna, we've got four raised beds. Uh, we're going to have uh, broccoli, tomatoes, cabbage, cauliflower. Tomatoes. Uh, so that's the crops we're going to be putting in. Um, we got a little bit behind because of all the snow and not having school, but we've Industrial Arts has been building the, the four, and we selected uh, a place on the back side of the school. Uh, we have a chicken coop out there that we got funded from you all last year, and it's it's the idea place uh, to to put them raised beds. And so hopefully the students will learn uh, uh, how to raise uh, vegetables. And then if they, they come in at the end of school, we always do a project with canning tomatoes, uh, making tomato juice. And, and so uh, that will help us. I, I've been getting the tomatoes off, off of the students, but it'll be nice to to, to raise them there at school and can them that, there. Uh, and so this raised bed helps us. So Gracie, tell me, uh, uh, tell us about what part of the project that you're doing. I help with the transferring from the greenhouse to the beds. So, like putting them, getting them in the wheelbarrows, putting them in the, uh, the flats, and then transferring to the beds. And so, so you use you grow your plants first from seeds yes. in the greenhouse, and then you're transferring them to the beds. Now, describe the beds. They're about three foot tall, about two foot wide. Okay. Now, you're a member of the FFA. Yes. And so, uh, what what is the value of that organization? Oh, it's great. It's a national organization, and it's just great to be a part of it. Really hands on. Now, Orville, the other project you mentioned was the chicken project. So describe that, because I think you just did some interesting work with that. Okay, the, the chicken chickens, last year we bought an incubator, and the students brought their eggs in from home. We hatched the chickens, and vocational school uh, built uh, the chicken coop, and it's a really neat coop because you can move it from area to area. When the grass gets wore out, you just move it to another area. Um, we did a really good project yesterday. Um, we gathered the eggs and kept them in the refrigerator, and, and yesterday uh, they got to make omelets. We ha had a uh, pamphlet from Kentucky Poultry Association, and it had nine different recipes on it to make nine different types of omelets. Uh, one of them was a cheesecake omelet, uh, blueberry cheesecake omelet. One was rise and shine. It had hash browns in it, um, and it, and uh, spinach and different things. Well, what's your favorite omelet? The Spanish one. It was really Spanish. cheesy. Okay. Uh, what do you want to do whenever you graduate from high school? What, what are your vocational plans? I don't have vocation right now. I'm still a sophomore, but I'll say I'm going to the National Guard. Okay, going to the National Guard. Yes. Well, hey, I want to thank both of you for being on our program and keep up the good work. Thank you. Well, thank you. We appreciate uh, you all helping us out to, to do these projects. Okay. Thank, thank you. you.